Tesla's autonomy day kicked off at Tesla headquarters in California, where executives, including CEO Elon Musk, were expected to give investors more details about the company's self-driving technology, known as Autopilot. Here is a wrap-up of what the event included. The Tesla computer, a new custom chip designed to enable full self-driving capabilities, is now in the all-new Model 3, X, and S vehicles, Elon Musk announced during the company's autonomy day. Tesla switched over from Nvidia's Drive platform to its own custom chip for the Model S and X about a month ago, and for the Model 3 about 10 days ago. All cars being produced all have hardware necessary, computer and otherwise for full self-driving, Musk said. All you need to do is improve the software. Work is also underway on a next-generation chip, he added. The design of this current chip was two years ago. Tesla is now about halfway through the design for the next generation chip. This new computer is able to check any code it runs and make sure it has been authenticated by Tesla as genuine. Neural network accelerators on Tesla's new chip can process 2,100 frames per second of incoming imagery from the car's eight constantly running cameras. That's the equivalent of 2.5 billion pixels per second. Musk said that all Tesla vehicles produced right now already have the chip in place. The company also once again distanced itself from the LiDAR radar technology that the rest of the industry is using to power their self-driving cars. LiDAR is a fool's errand, Musk said. Anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed and described them as expensive sensors that are unnecessary. It's up to Tesla's AI software to monitor all of the incoming flood of data from the cars then make driving decisions based on those inputs. This can be everything from lane lines to road signs, stoplights, pedestrians and more. It's basically the same function the human brain does every day in turning light signals into known objects with tons of pattern recognition. To train a neural network, the computer requires thousands of examples to be fed into the system. The system then can be trained based on data collected by cars and Tesla's fleet already on the road. As drivers cover new roads, that data can be loaded onto the AI system to further train Autopilot to be better driver through what Tesla is calling path prediction. The next big thing was robotaxis. Musk said he's very confident in predicting the launch of the robotaxi program by next year. Not in all regions though because of regulations. Any customer will be able to add or remove their car to the Tesla network, which he describes as a combination between Uber or Airbnb, similar to those platforms. Tesla will also take around 25 to 30 percent of the revenues generated from the ride shares. In places where not enough people are sharing their cars, there will be dedicated vehicles to handle the demand. Tesla will have its own ride hailing app for customers to summon a ride or for them to commit their cars to the fleet. Let's go through some of our other forward looking statements that we've made. You know, way back when we created the company, we said we'd build the Tesla Roadster. They said it was impossible and that, and that even if we did build it, nobody would buy it. Um, this was like universal opinion was that building an electric car was extremely dumb and would fail. Um, I agree with them that probability of failure was high, but, but that this was important. So we built the Tesla Roadster, um, got into production in 2008, um, and shipping that car. It's now a collector's item. Then, then so we built a more affordable car with the, the Model S. We did that. Um, again, we were told that's impossible. Um, I was called a fraud and a liar, and it was not going to happen, this is all untrue. Okay, famous last words, now is we, we, we went to production with the Model S in 2012, uh, it exceeded all expectations. There is still, in 2019, no car that can compete with the Model S of 2012. It's seven years later. Still waiting. <laughs> uh, so we'd build a, 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 a um, a, an affordable car, maybe highly affordable, is affordable, more affordable, uh, with, with the Model 3. We built the Model 3, we're in production. Um, I said we'd get over 5,000 cars a week for Model 3. Uh, but at this point, 5,000 cars a week is, is a walk in the park for us. It's not even hard. Um, I said we'd do large scale solar, which we did through the Solar City acquisition, um, and that we'd develop and deploy the solar roof. Um, which is going really well. We're now on version three of the solar tile roof, uh, and we expect to spill our production of the solar tile roof significantly later this year. Um, I, I have it on, um, my, on my house, and it's great. Um, and I, I, I said we'd make the uh, power wall and the power pack, 
and we made the Power Wool and Power Pack. In fact, the, the Power Pack is um, now deployed in massive grid scale utility systems around the world, um, in, including the, the, the largest operating battery projects in the world that at uh, above 100 megawatts. Um, and in the next, or probably by next, in the next year, two years at the most, we expect to have a giga, gigawatt scale battery project uh, completed. So all these things, to, like when, when things are on an exponential, at, at an exponential rate of improvement, it's, it's, it's very difficult to kind of wrap one's mind around it because we're used to extrapolating on a linear basis. But when you've got massive amounts of, uh, of like as the hardware, uh, you have massive amounts of hardware on the road, the, 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 the cumulative data is increasing exponentially. The software is getting better at an exponential rate. Uh, I feel very confident predicting uh, autonomous robo taxis for Tesla next year. Not in, all not in all jurisdictions, because we won't have regulatory approval everywhere, but I, I, I'm confident we'll have at least regulatory approval somewhere literally next year. Um, so any customer will be able to add or remove their car to the Tesla network. So we expect this to operate um, is sort of, sort of a, like a combination of maybe the Uber and Airbnb model. So if you own the car, you can add or subtract it to the Tesla network, and Tesla would uh, take uh, 25 or 30 percent of the revenue. Um, and, uh, and then in places where there aren't enough people sharing their cars, we would just have dedicated uh, Tesla vehicles. Uh, so we'll sh we'll sh when you use the car, we'll show you our ride-sharing app. So you'll be able to be able to summon the car from the parking lot, get in, and go for a drive. It's really simple. So you just take the same Tesla app that you currently have. We'll just do an, we'll just update the app and add a summon summon Tesla, or or commit your car to the fleet. So see the summon summon your car or add. It, so many Tesla, or add, your, add or subtract your car to the fleet. You'll be able to do that from your phone. So we see um, potential for smoothing out the demand distribution curve um, and having the car operate at a much higher utility than a, a normal car would operate. So like typically, the use of a car uh, is about 10 to 12 hours a week. So most people will drive um, one and a half to two hours a day, typically 10 to 12 hours a week of total driving. But if you have a, um, a car that can operate autonomously, then most likely you could probably, most likely you'd have that car operate for a, a third of the week or longer. So there are 168 hours in a week, so probably you've got something on the order of 55 to 60 hours a week of operation, maybe a bit longer. Um, so the, the fundamental utility of a vehicle increases by a, a factor of five. So you can look, look at this from a macroeconomic standpoint and say just, if, if this was like some, if we were operating some big simulation, if, if you could upgrade your simulation to increase the utility of cars by a factor of five, that would be a f massive increase in the um, economic efficiency of the simulation, just gigantic. So, um, We'll do Model 3 S X as taxis, but um, we, we made an important change to our leases. So if you lease a Model 3, you don't have the option of buying it at the end of the lease. We want them back. If you buy the car, you can keep, you, you can keep it, but if you lease it, you have to give it back. And as, as I said, where, in any locations where there's not enough to, uh, supply for sharing, uh, we'll, Tesla will just make its own cars um, and add them to the network in that place. So the current cost of Ro Model 3 Robo Taxi is um, less than $38,000. We expect that number to improve over time. Um, and we're designing the cars. The cars currently being built are all designed for a million miles of operation. So the drive units are designed, for, uh, designed and tested and validated for a million, million miles of operation. The current battery pack is about maybe 300 to 500,000 miles. Uh, the new battery pack that's probably going to production next year is designed explicitly for a million miles of operation. The entire vehicle, battery pack inclusive, um, will, will, is designed to operate for a million miles with 
minimal maintenance. maintenance. So we'll actually be addressing uh, tire design and uh, re really optimizing the car for a hyper-efficient robo-taxi. And at some point, you won't need steering wheels or pedals, and we'll just delete those. So as, as, as these things become less and less important, we'll just delete parts. Just They won't, they won't be there. Um, if you say, like, probably two years from now, we, 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 we make a car that has no steering wheels or pedals. And if we need to accelerate that time, we can always just delete parts. Easy. Um, yeah, probably, say, long term, three years, rubber taxis with, with eliminated parts. It maybe it ends up being $25,000 or less. And you want a, a super efficient car so that the electricity consumption is very low. So we're currently at four and a half miles per kilowatt hour, but we can, we'll improve that to five and beyond. And there's just really no, no company that has the full stack integration. We've got the, the vehicle design and manufacturing. We've got the computer hardware in-house. We've got the in-house software development um, the, and, and AI. And we've got by far the biggest fleet. It's extremely difficult, not impossible perhaps, but extremely difficult to catch up when Tesla has 100 times more um, miles per day than everyone else combined. This, this, is, these, these today, this is the cost of running a gasoline car, or the, the average cost of running a car in the US. This is taken from AAA. So it's currently about 62 cents a mile, um, you know, uh, 13 and a half thousand miles, 250 million vehicles, adds up to two trillion a year. Um, these are literally just taken from the AAA website. Um, the cost of ride sharing is, uh, according to Uber and Lyft, is two to three dollars a mile. Um, the cost to run a rubber taxi, we think, less than 18 cents a mile. And and dropping. Like this is this is, this would be current. This is current cost. Future costs will be lower. If you say, what would be the probable gross profit from a single robo taxi? Um, we think probably something on the order of thirty thousand dollars per year, and we expect that we're, we're, we're literally designing we're, we're, we're designing the cars the same way that commercial semi trailer semi trucks are designed. Commercial semi trucks are all designed for a million mile life. And we're designing the cars for a million mile life as well. So in, in nominal dollars, that would be, you know, a little over three hundred thousand dollars over the course of eleven years. It might be higher. I think these consumptions are actually relatively conservative, and this assumes that fifty percent of the miles driven are, are there's nothing are, are not useful. So this is only at fifty percent utility. By the middle of next year, uh, we'll have over a million Tesla cars on the road with full self-driving hardware, feature complete, uh, at a reliability level that we would consider uh, that no one needs to pay attention. Meaning you could go to sleep in your, from our standpoint, if you fast forward a year, a little, maybe a year, maybe a year and three months, uh, at, but next year for sure, we will have over a million robo-taxis on the road. The fleet wakes up with an over-the-air update. That's all it takes. You say, what, what is the net present value of a, of a rover taxi? Probably on the order of a couple hundred thousand dollars. So buying a Model 3 is a good deal.